B can do a piece of work in 12 days. So what do we know? 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 1 by 12. That's the equation. Yes or no? A and B can do a piece of work in 12 days. See, this is one way of writing the equation. That 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 12. Because A is one day's work plus B is one day's work is equal to 1 12th of the total work. Some of these one day's work. Otherwise, what, what, what is the other way of taking it? We can say total work W is equal to A plus B into 12. Right? So, any one of the type of equations can be used for solving such questions. This is easier, like we have seen in the previous case also, write one equation, one simple equation there and simplify to get the answer. So A and B can do a piece of work in 12 days, which B and C together can do in 16 days. Now B and C can do it in 16 days, means what? 1 by B plus 1 by C equals to 1 by 16. B is the number of days required by B, C is the number of days required by C, A is the number of days required by A. Right? 1 by B plus 1 by C equals to 16. Now see what it says. After A has been working at it for 5 days and B for 7 days, C finishes it in 13 days. So what happened here? First A has worked it, worked on it for how many days? 5 days. And then B worked on it for 7 days. And then finally C finishes the work in 13 days. So that's like all the three persons are working but not simultaneously. First A works for some number of days, then followed by B for some days, followed by C for the remaining 13 days. Now in how many days can B alone finish the work? We need to find out B is equal to what? In our case, number of days required by B is small b, right? So small b is equal to b. Now let's write an equation for this statement, right? This second statement here. What does, what does it say? After A has been working on it for 5 days. A has worked for 5 days. See, how much can A do in 1 day? 1 by A. He has worked for 5 days. So how much will get over? 5 into 1 by A. B for 7 days. How much will get over? 7 into 1 by B. And C finishes it in 13 days. 13 into 1 by C. This is equal to what? Total work 1. Yes or no? This is the total work. This is the total work, right? A for 5 days, B for 7 days, C for 13 days. That finishes the total work which is generally considered as 1 unit, right? We are following unitary method. So, simple. So, if you, if you actually look at it, we have got 3 equations. 1 by A plus 1 by B equals to 1 by 12. 1 by B plus 1 by C equals to 1 by 16. And 5 by A plus 7 by B plus 13 by C equals to 1. 3 equations with 3 variables. What are the 3 variables? A, B and C. You have to solve them to get the required answer. Now, which method you follow to solve them matters, right? How do you make it simple? How do you keep it simple and arrive at the answer quickly is important, right? So, what do we do here? You can anyway solve it. Again, like I said, there is one more way of representing these equations. I can say 12 into A plus B, the total of W equals to 12 into A plus B is equal to 16 into B plus C is equal to uh, 5A plus 7B plus 13C, where A, B and C are nothing but uh, the capacities. Here we are writing capacity in terms of number of days, 1 by A. Or otherwise, in terms of capacity, you can simply say 5A plus 7B plus 13C equals to total work W. There you cannot take 1. Right? That's the only difference. So anyway, the idea is that there have got 3 equations, 3 variables, you need to solve them. Now let's see a simple and smart solution of this one. We'll try and split this B here, B and C. For example, 7B can be taken as 5B plus 2, sorry, 7 by B, 7 into 1 by B can be taken as 5 by B plus 2 by B, yes or no? Likewise, 13 by C can be taken as 2 by C plus 11 by C. Let's see what happens. So, we'll take it as 5 by A as it is. Now, this 7 by B, we are splitting as 5 by B plus 2 by B. Yes or no? B is the LCM here, 5 plus 2, 7, 7 by B. And the last term here, 13 by C, let's take it as 2 by C plus 11 by C. Nothing wrong here, right? is equal to total work 1 unit, right? So, 5 by A plus 5 by B plus 2 by B plus 2 by C plus 11 by C. By now, you would have realized what's the advantage of this one, right? What, what can we do? If I take 5 common, what are we left with? 1 by A plus 1 by B. And I know that 1 by A plus 1 by B is equal to 1 by 12. Likewise, if we take 2 common here, what do we get in these two terms? 1 by B plus 1 by C. What is 1 by B plus 1 by C? 1 by 16. So, I can directly substitute that. And I get the value of C. Yes or no? So, let's simplify now. So, if you take 5 common, 1 by A plus 1 by B is 1 by 12 plus 2 common. So, 1 by B plus 1 by C is 1 by 16 plus 1, 11 by C equals to 1. Now, simplify this. What happens? 5 by 12 plus 2 by 16. Are you able to follow? 5 by 12 plus 2 by 16. Simplify that. 48 is the LCM, right? So, uh, this goes how many times? 4 times. So, 20 and this goes 3 times, so 6, 26 by 48, 26 by 48, 1 minus 26 by 48 is 22 by 48, so 11 by C equals to 22 by 48, 2 gets, 11 gets cancelled there 2 times, so 1 by C equals to 2 by 48 or C equals to 24, so from this we get C equals to 24, so we can say that C takes 24 days, right? 
Okay, but the question is, in how many days B alone can finish the work? Now, now that we know C is 24 days, substitute in this equation, we get the value of B. So what do we get? 1 by B plus 1 by 24 equals to 1 by 16. Simplify, what do we get for B here? Um, 1 by 16 minus 1 by 24. Again, 48 is LCM. So 3 times and 2 times. 3 minus 2 by 48. 1 by 48. So B is equal to 48 days. It's all about simplifying those equations. So 48 days, option A is the correct one.